before we get the actual process started of the song, I did want to thank DistroKid for sponsoring this video. They reached out to me a few months ago when I posted my video on how I distribute and produce and record my own music and asked if I would want to work with them and at the time I didn't have any music set to release but when the time came for me to release break your heart i was like wait a minute i want to try distro kid because i have some friends that use it and really like it and i just i kind of wanted to branch out from tune core just because that's all i've used and i was like you know what i'm gonna try distro kid and i actually really like it a lot i've only released one song on it and it hasn't even been a week but i think that i like it better than tune core just saying i did want to break down their different plans that they have because i do have a discount link for you guys if you want to sign up if you use my link which i'll put on the screen in the description you get seven percent off your first year membership with distro kids so you can save some money release your own music and it's gonna be a great time so they have three different plan options they're all different price points and they all have like different words are hard they all have like different features the first plan is the musician plan which is $19.99 a year the second plan they have is the musician plus which is $35.99 a year and the third plan they have is the label plan it's really easy to find something that works best for you with distro kid like you'll see like little check marks like on your dashboard being okay this was approved this was approved it's something that i'm still playing around with but i really really like it so far i suggest that you guys check them out because i do get a lot of questions from you guys about how i distribute my music you guys want to check them out i'll leave all their info below make sure you click my link distrokid.com slash vip slash lizb and you can get seven percent off your first year membership thank you distrokid you the best and let's continue with the video this is my intro now so every time i hit record i'm just like I had a song called Break Your Heart. Whenever I put out a new song, I like to do these like behind the song videos where I have you guys send me questions and I answer them because that's what you do when people ask questions. And yeah, we're just gonna chat about the song. We're probably gonna talk way too much. But yeah, I had you guys send me questions on Instagram. I also had you send them on Twitter. I'm not gonna go in any specific order, so if I kind of jump around, sorry how'd you come up with album art one night i was like i don't know i kind of want just like the disposable film look um for the cover didn't have any film for my polaroid camera or anything so i just used the camera i'm filming on and stood on my bed in front of my wall with my ring light and all the lights turned off but i edited like the colors on my phone and then in photoshop i overlaid like a folding paper texture so it looked like it was like crumpled up because i wanted it to look like it was a note what's your fave part of it in terms of the sound melody and production phil sweeney produced it he's the same guy that produced grieving i'm gonna link his soundcloud below but i just love how spacious it sounds i just wanted it to sound big but i didn't want it to sound too stuffy or full i just wanted it to sound like and i'm also proud of myself for like recording a decent piano part what's your favorite lyric how does it feel being the center of attention i know you love it but is this the kind you wanted the bridge lyric is you might think that it sounds stupid to be petty over little things but after being quiet four years i think that i'm allowed to be and i like that but after being quiet four years i wrote it as in like I was quiet for literally four years. It also kind of works as, oh, I've been quiet for years. You know what I'm saying? It works both ways. See, I always say I'm gonna choose one and then I choose multiple. <coughs> Love the lyric. I won't even listen to one of my songs. I hope that you hear this one. He probably won't. What inspired you to write it? Honestly, a few things. Clearly, I had my feelings hurt by a man. Do you want to lay here? I was texting my friend Jackie one day and we were just like ranting about boys and like venting. I had this like song concept of wanting to break a boy's heart, but I didn't know how I wanted to write it. I wanted it to be really petty and then it kind of took like a turn in a very different direction. Midnight, stop. And then I started venting about a situation that I went through. And then I was sitting on the toilet, which is where I get like all of my ideas. All my best ideas, I would say, in my opinion. Sitting on the toilet and I started writing it. Sent my friend Jackie a voice memo. Wait, okay, I got the song idea on the toilet. I'm gonna lose my mind. okay. Here we go, finally confronting all those feelings I had that you never, that you never located. You said you did, but your actions don't match it. Is he right to you? 
When we first met, my god, it felt so perfect. I name old face, although he never dated. It was like a very like heat of the moment type of thing. Like obviously like it sucks, but like when I got the inspiration for the song, I was in like a very like petty, annoyed, bitter mood. Compared to your other songs, would you say this was harder or easier to write? Definitely easier. I wrote this song so fast. You guys will see in the video, I'm gonna put like the text on the screen of between me and my friend Jackie because she saved them. If like you look at the timestamps between our texts, like I wrote it so fast. What came to you first, the melody or the lyrics? They both came at the same time, the lyrics and the melody. In this case, it did. Did the song come to you in parts or was it easy to write in one sitting? I did the whole first verse and chorus and like one and then but then I got up and went to my piano trying to like figure out the chords with it and then that was when I wrote the second verse but most of it I literally I was just sitting at the end of my bed like hunched over on my phone and then the last question I have is have you heard anything from the guy it's about I want to know his reaction if slash when he hears it I don't think he's heard it i don't think he's gonna listen to it like the song says itself like he never listens to my songs so also the guy it's about it is like about him but the whole like the con the chorus concept of like if you want to break my heart i'll break your heart too was more of like a concept i came up with up with like yeah like he really like fucking hurt me but i don't know if you were to hear it he would know what's about him maybe I don't know, men don't have brain cells. That's all the questions that you guys sent. If you have more, let me know and I can answer them. You can like leave them in the comments or I can do like an Instagram Q&A or something like that. I love you guys. Thank you for watching. Um, if you haven't streamed it yet, when you song Break Your Heart, which I talked about the entire video, it's out and you can stream it everywhere. I hope you like it. Yeah, you guys are asking questions. Thank you guys for caring enough to like want to know what they're about. I love you guys with my whole heart and I'll see you in my next video.